Hey, happy Saturday, May the 2nd. This is Sean Reddy and my co-host Everett Reddy, both of the Reddy Group of Keller Williams, here to talk to you about the Tampa Bay real estate market trends uh, as a result of the coronavirus and the lockdown. So if you've watched these videos before, you know that Everett likes to let you know what's going on on the front end of the market. So real-time stats that we've been tracking daily for now seven weeks. New listings, price reductions, how many homes have uh, gone, or excuse me, been taken off of the market, how many contracts have canceled, and most importantly, how many new sales contracts have been signed. Uh, and the reason that we track these is because we don't have the crystal ball or the stock ticker on what home prices are going to do as a result of the virus and the lockdown. So uh, if again, if you've been watching these, fortunately, you know that real estate agents and um, uh, pretty much everybody involved in a real estate transaction has been deemed essential, has always been deemed essential, and we've never really stopped. So uh, again, what I'm looking for are trends, upward trends, downward trends, what's happening real time uh, from a trend perspective so we can establish what will happen to your home's value. And got some cool stuff to report at the end of week seven, which ended yesterday, Friday, May the 1st. Uh, we totaled 1,000, or excuse me, yeah, 1,160 sales contracts for the week. And now that number, independent of anything else, doesn't mean anything yet. Letting you know that that mean, or that is a 23% bump from last week, and a 46% bump from the week which saw the lowest number of sales contracts. That's the week of April the fourth. Uh, that's when we kind of reached the height and uncertainty on what's going on with the virus and the lockdown. Uh, so again, 46% increase from that week. New listings on the market. Now we've seen two straight days of 200 plus homes coming to market. So appears that seller sentiment is on the rise. There are uh, more sellers putting their homes on the market now. I suspect that trend to continue. So we saw a 20% bump from the low week, again, April 4th. Uh, 838 homes hit the market last week. All right, so as the the uh, the state, most counties in the state are getting ready to uh, quote open up on Monday, I suspect that the sentiment in the real estate market continues on its upward trajectory. So we'll see more homes hitting the market. We'll see more homes going under contract. Uh, it is what is traditionally the busiest time of year for home sales. Um, as you know, we get into this uh, late spring, early summer season, and I do suspect. Uh, as I've been saying, that we are going to see a kind of an extreme seller's market coming out of this thing. Uh, we actually have now 639 less homes on the market today than we did on March the 13th. So uh, that is a result of sellers pulling homes off the market, not too many listings hitting the market, and homes going under contract at a pretty, uh, pretty good pace. So extreme seller's market up front, followed by what I suspect We'll see inventory uh, hitting the market at a pace that we haven't seen in several years. We're going to see pent up supply that did not go on the market. We're going to see normal day-to-day uh, -day listings that already would have been on the market in the second quarter, third quarter this year. And we're going to see uh, some residual effects of forbearance, mortgage forbearance, as well as unemployment. Uh, so sellers who are no longer able to keep their homes uh, sadly, those will go on the market as well. So extreme sellers market up front for a few weeks, months, maybe. And then ultimately the market swinging to a balanced and then buyer's market uh, probably towards the la uh, latter half of the year. So this is a macro look. This is all of Hillsborough and Pinellas. If you want a more micro detailed look at your neighborhood, let Everett know. He's happy to run those numbers for you. And again, Sean Reddy, Everett Reddy. Thank you so much for watching this all the way to the end. And Everett, I'm so glad you didn't poop my pants this video. See ya.